got a feeling he's going to scream off the lights in a second. All right, there are some dodgy deals going on in this park. Just saw a drug deal. It's quite known for these big murals. I'm not going to linger any longer than necessary. Let's go and have a look at the police arresting someone. Places like that. Asimita, right. Asimita, Asimita! We're going down towards Bruce Grove. Another busy shopping area. Let's have a look. I don't know the name of this road. It may be Bruce Grove, actually. And it's heading towards Bruce Grove train station. So it's a busy little street. I know this one a little bit better than some of the others. So this is the police station in Tottenham. Quite possibly the one there was protests outside that fateful day in 1985. All right, let's carry on down Bruce Grove. It's a colourful little high street, always very busy. It's one of the main thoroughfares. And if I was to carry on and follow this up straight, I would come back to Tottenham Stadium, you know, Spurs, where we were a bit earlier, being overtaken by a Ferrari. If you were to come to Tottenham on your holidays, this is what you could expect. Kebab shops, elbow room pubs. I bet it's got some elbow room in there though. And Bruce Grove Station. He's the one. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yes, go, he's talking to you. Now, we're going to go up here. Bruce Grove. That's a nice bit of art deck. Oh, look at that. Well, it's been a while since I've been up here. <laughs> Gonna do a bit of a name check for a friend of mine. Have I got the right place? I'm not even sure now. Might be the next one. I gotta go check. I'm not sure. Oh, I think it was that one. A scimitar. A scimitar, a scimitar, a scimitar. Oh. Cool, reliant scimitars. Messy sixes. Don't see them very often. I used to have one. Just gonna pick up on a little bit of a story from our, our series of where I've lived in London. I never lived here. But my friend did, and there's a connection. I think it was this place. So up there, there's a bedsit flat. Not a bad little place. So what's the connection? Well, let's get out of this wind and tell you. Mm, I'm just debating, is this the place? I think so. So the connection is, when I was living in Harlesden, I was living with my friend there. We had that big warehouse apartment. Very cool place. You recall that I had to move, because I had to move, I eventually found that place and made a veil. Well, the reason I was moving is because the friend there found somewhere to live, and that's the place he found to live. So he moved here, I moved to Maida Vale, contrasting, but you know, in the end it proved to be a shrewd move for him, he did well, and he ended up moving in the end to a second flat around the corner and rented this one out and blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. So that's my only connection with this area, really. But while we're here, there's something else to see, just over there. So somehow, on these series, we seem to have stumbled across some almshouses in various places. Well, I don't know how that came about. Acton had them. We found them in Gospel Oak, or near Kentish Town, on that episode. And here again, we seem to have what looks like almshouses to me. It doesn't say that on these, but they are exactly the same build as those other almshouses, as in the parade of houses, I don't know what you'd call it, a C-shape with a little green in front. And of course this one is open, I can visit. So, I mean, they look to me like old folks' homes or something? I don't think so, but you never know. Maybe it's just a style of building that, that went on back in the day, you know, in the, well, definitely 1920, I would say, maybe earlier. Just having a little look around this back street area. I've never really been here. What's that? A railway bridge down there? Mm, okay, let's have a look. We're here now. Oh, it's another estate. Oh look, it's a little bit like that other style with its walkways. So we're back out on Bruce Grove. Tottenham, this is what you've got. 
What do you think? What's your opinion so far? It's not for me to decide, I'm just here to show you what it looks like and give you a general feel for the place. Yeah, I'm on. Bruce Grove. We've been here once already. It's very colourful. This place is very lively, that's for sure. down there. Have a quick look down here, see some big blocks, new builds. Looks kind of interesting. Got a kind of Dutch feel about it. Just Tottenham Hale, that's right. Tottenham Hale is kind of a bit of a new build area based on uh, a city in Stockholm. I forget the name of the city, but it was kind of loosely based on it. A part of Stockholm, you know, an area been designed around that model. Keep checking behind you. Wow, that's a lot of brickwork. Check that out. Yeah, no complaints from me. Look at this. I've heard about Tottenham Hale. I haven't been here or seen it for a long, long time. But it is one hell of a built-up thing. There's a lot going on. So as I think I mentioned earlier, this whole area of Tottenham Hale is a whole new redevelopment of this part of Tottenham um, and this part of London. And it's all loosely based on an area of Stockholm called Hammerstad Sjöldade or something. So it's, they're kind of basing it on that model somehow. Well, hopefully <laughs> they will have learned from the mistakes of Broadwater Farm just up the road and it'll be an improvement with a bit of luck. I do think it will be, to be honest. It won't turn out looking like a hellhole in 10 years' time. But we want to go just over there a minute. Got something to tell you. So this little area is called the Tottenham Hale Retail Park. And there's lots of these around the country, really. They're all kind of the same sort of thing. They have pets at home, you know, TK Maxx. They have all the same sort of shops, Halfords, B&Q. Usually the same model, just plonked all over the place. But around here, in 2011, kind of gained an infamous status. Summer, it must have been July or August, I was going on holiday and I was going to Sweden or Finland or somewhere with a friend. As we were at the airport on the plane, riots were kicking off all over London. And this place got more or less burnt to the ground. It's like, it was really, you know, they, they smashed the windows, raided all the shops, did all the sort of things they do in riots. And at the same time, there were riots kicking off in other parts of London and also other parts of the UK. The riots were over the shooting of a black man who was pulled over in his car. Duggan, I think I want to say the name. I'm going off memory here, okay? So forgive the, for the lack of facts. And he was pulled over in his car and he was shot because he was supposedly had a gun. Now, the ins and outs of that, I don't know, I won't say any more, but it did kick off the riots all over the country. People love a riot, don't they? You get to raid shops and get things for free from JD Sports and Boots and what have you. And now I think we're pretty much at the end of Tottenham. You've seen it all from top to bottom, good and bad. Time for me to get out of here. Well, that's pretty much the end of Tottenham. What did you think? We've seen it from the top. We've seen the parks. We've seen Bruce Castle. We've seen Lordship Lane. We've seen Broadwater Farm very interesting part. We're here at Tottenham Hale to finish it off right pretty much at the south of Tottenham now. So that's Tottenham for you. I hope it's been worthwhile. So for now we leave it at that. Well there always seems to be a bonus feature doesn't there? Just making my way home I've just come over the bridge from Tottenham Hale and I'm about to go up the, the, the canal or up this way. I mean look at this. Nice waterside living. Yeah, they've made a good effort to change this place and make it nice. So just in case you were visiting here and you wanted to check this area out, this is Tottenham Hale, and this is what they're doing to it. Building, 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 building. Behind me building. Lots of new stuff going on. Some serious regeneration of this area. 
I mean, I knew it was happening, but I've never seen it with my own eyes until today. So this is quite something. Reminds me a bit of when we were in South Acton, but it's on the water, which is very nice. Not so shabby, not so shabby after all. We seem to do a lot of canals here in London, don't we? They're everywhere. Well, for example, if you were to come to Tottenham, you could come out here to the Tottenham Marshes, just a little bit north of Tottenham Hale. I guess Tottenham Hale would be the way to get here. It's quite well known, there's lots of canal side living, lots of boats, and it's nice for, for a walk, I guess, for a bit of countryside fresh air. Ooh. So if you want to get away from it all, come out here to the Tottenham Marshes. Yeah, so just outside of London, in Tottenham, you've got all this big pylon, industrial estate, don't know what that is. Some sort of waterway splitting off down there, another one down here, an interesting little spot. And this way goes over to Tottenham itself, Tottenham Hale, places like that. Um, did that used to be the old Ikea? I don't know, maybe. Well, we've come to the end of our time in Tottenham. It's been good to us. We saw some really interesting stuff. We probably won't come back here again because next time we'll be moving on to somewhere else in London. I don't know what's next. I'm open to suggestions. If you want to see more of this sort of content and you want to see more of those areas of London that most people don't get to see, then follow me on SCSI London. And I'll go exploring more and more. Feel free to like and subscribe. Make a comment. It all helps. There's a lot of work goes into these, a lot of effort, and I would love it if you could let me know that it's worthwhile, you know? But otherwise, don't worry, just enjoy it. Because generally, I am. So I hope to see you somewhere next time on Scuzzy London. There's a goose, a loose on the lane. Hello, goose. <laughs>